In this video, we're going to learn how we can individually turn off construction class elements in our plan sheets, what changes that we want to make to our workspace to make this happen. And to show the issue, I'm going to, in the examples workspace, cut some sample plan sheets here. I've already got my name boundaries laid out, so I'm just going to come in and create a couple sheets real quick. So we're going to turn on the uh, show create drawing and we will cut our sheets. I'm going to just give these uh, a plan name here, put them in their own individual files. And so here we have uh, a plan sheet. And if I come into the uh, view attributes and I toggle on or off construction, you'll see that it does not turn off the construction class that is back in my design model. Now I can go back to my design model, turn off the construction class, save settings and come back here, but there may be times where you want items on construction class to be individually uh, able to toggle on or off, or maybe you need to leave them on in your design in your drawing model, but you always want them off in your sheet model. And this is going to show you how to accomplish that. To make the changes to the workspace, you want to go to your sheet seat definition DGN libraries that contain plan drawing models. And so I'm going to switch over in our examples workspace, the ANSI D plan. You want to go to your references, and we need to make a couple of changes here. You do need to follow this uh, precisely. So we're going to right click on our attachment and we're going to go to presentation. And you need to switch this back to volume only. And you want to turn off use view flags it, that are in this one. And so we'll say OK to that. Right click again, go to presentation. And now we want to switch it back to settings from design model and then select OK. And so essentially it was using these flags, even though they looked to be disabled, it was trying to pull these from this drawing settings. And instead we're going to take them uh, and, and disable that. And so that'll give us full control over our flags in our sheet model, which is what we want. And so we're going to select OK to this. And so now when we switch back and cut our sheets again, so we'll go to our name boundaries, and we're going to cut those sheets again. Now notice that the, const the construction class is not on. However, if I go to uh, turn on or off construction class, now I'm able to control it as it's seen in the sheet model. Now the way that I was able to get these to come up with the construction class turned off by default is if we go back to the sheet C definition DGN lib and in our sheet model I have turned off constructions and then saved settings. Now there's one caution to this. If you ever need to adjust where your reference is in your sheet model, let's say that you have to click move here, you absolutely must turn your construction class back on before you move your reference. And then once you move your reference, and then you'll re-snap your corners to your reference, then you can turn construction class back off. Uh, once you have your construction class off, of course, then you can save your settings. And I always recommend in your sheet C definitions to switch back to your multi-model view and save settings again here uh, before you close out. So that is how I was able to get the changes made to where you do not have to have those construction class on by default when your sheets are cut. And so if you make those two changes, you will then have the ability, I'm just using the F7 key here in the examples workspace that toggles your construction class, but you'll have the ability to toggle off everything that's on construction, even if it's in a reference file, if you make these changes.